What's up, everyone? Brooks again with Full Force Motorsports here. Going to do a little quick rundown of my 2020 Honda Accord Sport 2.0T. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for a little bit. I keep washing my car, and then it gets dirty again. So I haven't really had a chance to do it. But anyway, uh, so yeah, 2020 Accord uh, 2.0T. Uh, so as most of y'all probably know, this has the pretty much the Civic Type R engine. The major difference is the turbo on it. Uh, maybe a couple other little things, but that's the biggest difference in it. Um, but what I have here, we'll start kind of from the front and then I'll work my way around it. Uh, the front is pretty much all stock other than the Akasaka lip. Uh, came in the pearl white, put that on. I've had that thing on there probably a year. Haven't had any problems with it. Um, it is pretty low. As you can see, there's definitely people lower than me, uh, but it's pretty low. I've kind of given up on getting in driveways and stuff, but it makes it around town. Um, as far as my wheel setup, these are the Koenig Hypergrams in an 18 by nine and a half plus 32, I believe is what it is, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then I got 255 40s all the way around, square setup, nothing too crazy. Planned on taking this car on the track on some road courses, so that's why I went with those wheels. A little bit lighter, a little bit more meat on the tires. Um, it took me a long time to decide what wheels to get, but I finally decided on these. It was between 18s and 19s. I just really couldn't find 19s that I really, really liked. So that's what I got as wheels. Uh, side skirts are factory. Tint is like legal, which I think is around 32%, something like that. Um, yeah, if y'all watched my other video, I did put some multiple brake fluid in this. Or some Willwood, not multiple. I had some multiple, but Willwood's what I put in there. Willwood EXP 600 plus. Uh, next will be some brake pads on here. Um, as far as the back, I have the Crux Moto overlays for the tail lights. So as you see, it's got the reverse light cut out. Um, I like those. Kind of has just a factory look um, without having to buy some like V3s from High Rev, which I'll probably get some of those eventually. I really want the clear. But for now, this, these will do. And um, then I got the Akasaka rear diffuser, as you can see. That was kind of a tough decision as well. I wanted the one with the third brake light, but I couldn't really decide. But I like the way this one looks. I may change it up in the future. Um, then as far as exhaust goes, these are flow effects mufflers. So it's actually really quiet. Um, nothing too crazy. I really didn't want it super loud. Uh, but then I got two of those. And then obviously the, the quad tips coming out. But I do have other mufflers I'm about to change to very soon. I just haven't got them put on yet. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, obviously you see the tag there, Spool Jew. That's my Instagram name. Give me a quick follow if you haven't seen it already. Uh, then we got a duck bill on here. That's just an eBay duck bill. Um, I really like the look of it. It fits nice. I did take off the factory spoiler and I covered up the holes with some tape. Um, I've had no problems with water getting in. I've had this on almost a year as well. Um, I did go get it painted at a body shop so that it matches. Um, as far as the side, I forgot about the uh, the chrome trim delete. So I did do that. It's not the one I wanted, which is from Crux Moto, but a friend of mine had this just laying around that he had for another accord. So he actually just gave it to him, gave it to me. Shout out to Tito for that. I put it on. It doesn't fit 100% perfect, but it works for what i was trying to do for the look um and my car is kind of dirty right now i washed it the other day and it's raining like three days in a row after i washed it so it's kind of dirty um i do have the silvers coilovers if you watch my other videos silvers um ultra low i did swap the spring rates uh usually they come 8k in the front 6k in the rear i just did eight all the way around just to get the rear just a little bit more stiff i didn't i wanted to do 10 but i figured that'd be a little bit too stiff to be riding around all day every day i do daily drive this i'm in real estate so i have to drive all over the place so i didn't really want to be bouncing all the way down the highway but um i do have them set kind of this stiff right now but they actually ride really really well my wife doesn't complain too much about them uh, now i'll just show you kind of what's under the hood which is nothing too crazy and that'll be pretty much it almost all right so under the hood uh what i did was i got a OEM Civic Type R valve cover. I mentioned that in one of my videos, but just order that off like Majestic Honda, HondaAutomotiveParts.com. That's a place I've been using for a long time for OEM stuff. It's real easy to do. You take a couple bolts out, swap it out. Um, you take off one little, little piece and put it on there. I did also get the black 
Pacific Type R oil dipstick, which is a little bit shorter than the factory one, but the orange one looked kind of dumb um, without that on there. Next, we got the billet mounts. You can see right there, those are from Hasport. I got the upper one and then the lower transmission mount. Um, it does cause quite a bit of vibrations. I've kind of been thinking about maybe swapping it back out and just seeing. Um, I haven't seen nothing crazy of a difference, honestly, in how I drive it to really need those, but they do look cool. Uh, then we got the PRL. This is the PRL Stage 1 tube. So I ordered a Stage 1. Um, then a guy had the Mishimoto for sale. So I went ahead and just scooped that up. I really wasn't planning on it, but he had it. It looks good. Carbon fiber. It all goes together pretty well. Flows good. Um, see, it's got a little scoop in it. And it does sound really good. You can definitely hear it blowing off um, when you let off the gas. So it has a, it has a good sound. But that's pretty much it under the hood. My next step is to get a downpipe. That's pretty much all I want left. I do have K-Tuner Stage 2 on here. Um, that's really about all that I want to do next. I'm not trying to do anything too crazy. I really don't want to swap the turbo out yet. I don't really feel like spending the money on that. Um, but maybe eventually I'll get to that point and, you know, want more power after the downpipe and see what we can do. And I'll show you the interior, which is all stock, but I'll show it to you anyway. All right, like I said, my car is pretty dirty right now. Yesterday at the gas station, there was like some concrete mix on the freaking ground. So it got my dead pedal all disgusting. But this is the interior, all factory. I thought about doing the red seats. I'm not sure yet. What I probably will eventually do is get some Civic Type R seats and swap them in here. Or uh, get some Civic Type R brackets and put some kind of like racing seat on here. Just to swap out every once in a while, just to have some fun. I probably don't want to daily drive with that anyway. But, um, but like I said, all stock. This is the 10-speed. I would have looked harder for a six-speed, but I honestly needed a car at the time. I was selling two of my other cars I had, and I needed something, so 10-speed it is. Technically, it's faster, so, you know, it is what it is. Just got the Broadway mirror in here. That is a must-have. Always got to have the Broadway in every car I get. And then just got my little K-Tuner sticker over there. Shout out to them. They got great customer service, and their products work extremely well. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it on the inside. All right, well, that's a quick walk around of my Honda Accord. Like I said, 2020 Honda Accord 2.0T Sport. Um, if you got any questions, feel free to hit me up. Um, I'd like to help out anybody if they have any questions about it. Uh, but I really enjoy the car. Um, it's been nothing but good to me so far. I have had the turbo replaced once at Honda because uh, it was making kind of some metal on metal type noise. So it has a pretty much brand new turbo. It's probably got a couple thousand miles on it now. Uh, my car itself has like 35. I bought it with 10,000, did everything to it. But yeah, next would be some brake pads, uh, downpipe, and the new exhaust. And that's pretty much it for right now. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you don't mind, shoot me a like. Give me a subscribe if you have a chance to. That way you can stay up to date for any of my new videos. Um, I will be posting some more of some shops here soon. For instance, the shop that I'm at right now, it's called Show Quality Studio. Let me see if I can get in there on his logo. Might be able to see that. But anyway, that's my buddy Robert Shop. Uh, he does detailing, uh, ceramic coating, all kinds of things like that. So I got a video coming up of his shop soon, which is why I'm here today and I decided to make a video of my car. So yeah, appreciate y'all. Hope you enjoy the video. Catch you later.